We'll whack this stuff in here. Not that you'll be able to see it. Get the sounder going. And then straight into the water. By the time I get set up and get out there, past the sanctuary zone, it's, yeah, it is a long paddle, so I've got to get, uh, if I go as far out as I want to today, I've got to sort of head out at least maybe seven or eight k's at least. So, uh, we will see <laughs> how far we get. But I'm feeling pretty confident, I'm pretty excited. What have we got? All right, sounder on. Beautiful. Linked up, GPS. Touch lock on. And we are away. Oh, I better turn the cameras on, <laughs> on the kayak. It's always good to have the cameras on if you're making videos. Uh, all right, now we're ready to go. Okay, so we're out, I'm getting set up here. We've got a slimy that's been busted out, one of the winter court slimies. So he's gonna be trolled around, hopefully for a mackerel. We'll have a quick drop of snapper as we pass one or two of the spots. So we've got the uh, jerk shed on for that. And then we'll get out to casting distance and we'll have a look at that. So that's the plan. But first, we'll get this thing on. We've got the Water Wolf camera, so even if we don't actually catch anything, we'll still be doing a bit of a reconnaissance. <laughs> and hopefully we can, you know, come up with some good footage there as well. So we've got to get this off. It's always a bit touch and go getting this lid off on the water. Yeah, it just pops off, but it always feels like I'm gonna drop it. Click that on. Looking for a red light, yep, okay. Put a bit more weight in this thing as well, so hopefully it'll stay upright from this point on. Really want this uh, back hook to go off at some point. The whole of uh, last summer I had it on and not a hit on the camera. It's previous summers, hit after hit, so <laughs> yeah, hopefully that'll go off today. If not, we uh, out of that big kit I got the other day, I uh, got some of these giant ripple shards, they were called. But uh, big thump and tail, so hopefully this uh, drums up a bit of action and uh, doesn't create too much wobble. All the hard bodies I was using uh, created too much wobble on the camera, so this one should create little wobble, but uh, should still have a nice swimming action. And I put a little sting on some wire just in case we actually get a hit uh, from a mackerel. But I've just realised I don't have wire at the front, so... Who knows what could happen there? <laughs> we'll find out. So hopefully that uh, that does the job. Uh, something small. Having a go at this by the looks of things. I wonder what that was. The annoying thing about that is it's my prime bait. <laughs> Whatever it is isn't big. He couldn't even make a proper dent. At least we know the fish are biting. And I've still got my bait. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he tries to take it again. <laughs> Some, there's some crazy lines on the sounder so I thought I'd just drop straight on them and it took all of about 10 seconds sinking down, not even, 5 seconds. I'm guessing it's going to be a smaller snapper, doesn't have much pull but... Alright. Well, he's uh, definitely a keeper but he's not massive. Let's have a look here. So the, the legal limit in 
Queensland is 35, but in New South Wales, which is where I am, it's four, uh, it's 30, and he's at about the 43 mark. Okay, so he's a great baking snapper, so we'll keep him. Twan did put a request in for snapper. I guess we better keep one straight up just in case we don't get anything else today. We'll put him out of his misery. And then we'll get back to all of this. So that was fun. Two snappers just straight off the bat. I'm glad I didn't let that first one go now. I almost did and then uh, I couldn't get another hit after that second one. So I think I'm ready to go and chase some uh, dreams of mackerel. The water's 22.1 here, so not quite as warm as I was hoping, but we're only on the very inner edge of Fido's. So uh, I think it'll warm up a bit more. The water feels nice, but it's pretty rough. Like. I get a lot of people asking, oh, where's some good spots? And I always sort of throw photos out there, but just so you know, guys, like this is, this is the kind of thing you're signing yourself up for. Luckily, there's no big swell, because once you get all this kind of choppy, you know, you know and currenty kind of terrible slop, you, then if you've got big swell coming in as well, it can really be pretty, uh, pretty terrible out here. So be aware that if you're gonna go to photos, make sure you got some experience and you know what you're in for. Because as soon as you get around that island, this is uh, this is the deal. Let's get this bait out. There's a little ledge over here that I really like going over, and I don't even have baits out. It rises up really steep to about eight meters. So when you go over it, a lot of the time if the mackerel are here, they just sort of sit at this ledge. And they love to get it just over it. Let's see if anything happens here. You've got to be careful skirting this edge because normally there's waves in the if there's any kind of swell there's waves smashing against it <laughs> so it's a bit of added incentive to not muck around all right my mate ants arrived yeah i'm trying to chase him down look he's trying to chase him down he keeps going he keeps getting away here we are he stopped now good it's nice to have a buddy to come out when you're doing the long wide paddles you feel a bit more comfortable near the uh, headland now not a lot of action on the way in at all like uh, plenty of things on the sounder but nothing really worth uh, much at all like I had a couple of drops for snapper but there's nothing happening and it really you know it feels a bit late in the day to be really trying now anyway so I'm gonna head in uh, so two snaps no kingies but uh, maybe yeah I don't know we'll uh, the water did get up warm enough, it was sort of exciting to see uh, the water at 20, I think we found 23.4 was the highest in the end, which is pretty pretty warm. It's definitely no reason why a mackerel couldn't be there now, so we'll keep, we'll keep at it. Sooner or later the rods will go off in a big way, so that'll be exciting. And uh, until then, I'll ride these waves in and maybe we'll do a cook up, I don't know, it depends on what uh, we've got planned for these snapper tonight, so I'm assuming we'll be eating them tonight. So that'll be nice. Maybe I'll film a little bit of that and put that in. Uh, 
don't know why people always say you need to bake them. Like that size. Look how much meat we like you get off that. Like I like baking as well, but just filleted the snapper up and we're just gonna do real simple. We're just throwing together whatever we got in the fridge. But simple is good sometimes. So it's just gonna be salt and pepper, lemon, and just quick fried, and then we've got some beans going here. If I can oh geez, don't drop it in, don't drop it in. And then just some potatoes and veggies, and that's it. So we'll get it on. How many pieces? Should I keep one of these pieces separate? Maybe, because we don't need that much fish. Like, we actually probably only need one fish, don't we? Yeah, oh, for sure. So I'll do that, I'll do that, and I'll keep this one, yeah. We get it over what overcooks. The most important thing about cooking fish is don't cook it. <laughs> don't overcook it. What's in there? I've oh, got potato, sweet potato, gherkin, butter, salt, pepper, onions. Yum. So anyway, we can see it's sort of cooking all the way, almost all the way through. See how you're getting that clear flesh? As soon as it starts turning white, you know it's cooked, but once it gets to about that level, I think I'm really happy to take it off just simply because it'll continue to cook once I take it off the heat. See, that's almost there. I'll, I'll just give it just a second longer and then we're good to go. Yeah, and this can be. Ah! That's heaps for me. So it doesn't get much more simple than that, but just super, super delicious. Also super simple, but oh, that looks good actually. So this is uh, what was it? Potatoes, pickle, sweet potato, white onions, butter. White onions and butter. Just mix through, and we're good to go. Let's eat.